Hi, this is Lightyear Rocketry and today we will be talking about the importance of an accurate drag coefficient to determine the exact apogee of a rocket. The drag force opposes the motion of the rocket. Drag depends on many factors that include the density of the air, the square of the velocity, the air's veloc viscosity and compressibility, the size, shape, and the body's inclination. Next, we go to Roxum. Once you're done completing your rocket design, you can go to prepare for launch. So then you go to the launch conditions, which show all of the different variables that affect the drag coefficient. There is the altitude, humidity, temperature, the pressure, latitude, and the wind conditions, which include the speed and the wind turbulence. Once you are done putting in all of these values, you should go to the launch icon, which is down here, and you should click the launch button. You should be given the max altitude or apogee, which for us in the simulation was around 740 feet. So next, we went and launched our rockets. First, we used one altimeter, the peanut altimeter by perfect flight, which gave us an apogee of around 550 feet. In our next launch, we used two altimeters just to double check our numbers, which we used a Jolly Logic altimeter, which gave us an apogee for around 555. This huge discrepancy is likely due to the drag coefficient. To override the drag coefficient, you should go to the CD override. As of right now, it's calculating it automatically. To use your own values, you should go to this box, and let's say we put 0.9. Then you should uncheck that so it doesn't calculate it. Next, click the launch button and you should see the values. So this is still not accurate enough. So let's say we put a 1 drag coefficient. Then you click launch again. You should get the numbers, which this one in this case is too low. So now let us put 0.95 and click launch again. Using a drag coefficient of 0.95, we get an estimated apogee of 549.93 feet, which is similar to the altitude given to us by our altimeters. While the drag coefficient can be calculated using simulation models for more accurate estimations of apogee, it is best to determine the drag coefficient experimentally. This takes into account the given air condition, shape, and inclination of the object, and all other factors that affect the drag. Thank you, and please like and subscribe.